What do we have today coming out of the safe, guys? A new Dan Wesson Vigil CCO. That's coming up next. All right, guys, from the safe to the range, here we are with the Dan Wesson Vigil CCO. We're gonna put some rounds down range now. The targets are lasered at 14 yards away, so some of the guys wanted to know how far away the targets are. As long as we're behind these rocks right here, we're 14 yards away. How to feel? You know, it's actually not too bad. This is the aluminum frame, so it's a little bit lighter. We're gonna be using some of these Elander 1911 magazines too. We continue to test them. So the full size ones are gonna stick down a little bit. This particular vigil is in 45 ACP, but they also offer it in 9mm. We shot about 250 rounds through this 1911 for this review, and we're very happy to bring this review to you guys. This is a very self-defense oriented 1911, made for concealed carry. Its weight and size is just perfect if you prefer the 1911 platform. It's running great, man. As we've come to expect from Dan Wesson, right? Another Elander. Running perfect. Young Beretta, you're up. Okay. Dan Wessons, as you guys know, are built to a very high standard. There are no MIM or cast parts in this pistol. It is a forged aluminum frame and a stainless steel top with the excellent duty finish from Dan Wesson. It's very scratch resistant and just a tremendous look. All right, first rounds for me with the Vigil. Let's go for some headshots. Not bad. Hitting a little low. All right, Elander eight round mag. Again, that's what it looks like right there, you guys, with a full size government mag and the officer size frame. This uh, front strap checkering really does help this pistol uh, stay in control really good, even though it's got the aluminum alloy frame. Makes it very manageable controlling the recoil here of the 45 ACP. Let's interchange between the targets here. Hundred percent so far. The recoil is quite manageable. Yeah, it really is. No real issues with it at all. That's good. The weight on this Vigil CCO comes in at a very light 29.5 ounces. It's a decent amount of weight and it helps here in this small package to tame the recoil of the 45 ACP. 
The ammo is supplied by Elite Performance Ammunition from Sig Sauer. This is their 45 ACP ammo, 230 grain, traveling at 850 feet per second and 369 foot-pounds. The Vigil has a very tight frame to slide fit. As you can see here, very nicely machined and the fit is outstanding. Pistol is still dirty from us taking it out to the range. The beaver tail is very nicely done, as you can see right here. Great job. The pistol also has a skeletonized hammer and a K style trigger, which is just great. The quality of it is outstanding, guys. The magwell area on the frame of this 1911 is slightly beveled for easier use of magazine insertion. Worked out really well at the range. Just really helps you get those magazines in the gun very easily. As far as the overall controllability and shooting this pistol, the front strap and mainspring housing having the 25 lines per inch checkering really helped in controlling the pistol. As you can see, the mainspring housing is also slightly rounded back here for aid and concealment of the pistol. Look at that front strap checkering on the aluminum frame here. No overruns at all. Just very well machined. And it feels outstanding in the hand and really locks the pistol in. Another Elander mag. This 11 has an outstanding trigger. Very positive reset. Last mag here. Officer size Dan Wesson mag that comes with the pistol stock. Also on the Vigil, like all Dan Wessons, they are a Series 70 1911. So if you like Series 70, here you go. Most people do. The cocking serrations on the Vigil are very well done. They're in the back, not in the front. They're easy to grab a hold of and use here. No problems at all, no matter what technique you use. Great quality, sounds like quality, feels like quality. Another thing I wanted to cover, guys, is the safety on this Vigil. Just like all damn Wessons, it's extremely positive. That's something that you're going to get on these higher-end 1911s, you guys. It's not like a Kimber or the Smith & Wesson 1911s, how they're very loose. This is a very well-fit 1911. That's been your experience, right, Brittis, here? Yeah, I don't think there's much better out there. It's just terrific. Very easy to sweep off or sweep on when you're using the pistol. Great job there on the safety. And again, it's a forged part, not a mem part, guys, so this part is not going to break on you. I've heard horror stories of people dropping other pistols, and when they drop them, they hit them here, and it actually breaks off. I don't believe that'll be the case with these. Nicely done, good thickness. It's got some traction on it right there. Just a great setup there for a CCW pistol if you're interested in carrying a 1911. The Dan Wesson magazine again. I'm gonna try for some headshots. See how that looks. Pulling it just slightly to the left. Yeah, just pulling it ever so slightly off. Shooting off.
off that reset is very nice. One more mag. This is one of the Elanders again. This Dan Wesson Vigil, like all Dan Wessons as far as we know, comes with a match grade barrel standard. So you don't pay anything extra, you're not adding this part or that part. This is the way the 1911 comes from Dan Wesson and I really do appreciate that, I'm sure you would too. Match grade barrel and the barrel here on the Dan Wesson Vigil has a recessed crown to it. Can't see it too well because of the 250 rounds we put through it, but it's just very well done overall. Again, top quality here on this 1911. All right, here we go. Just trying to see as fast as I can shoot it there. I missed a couple times. Eight round Elander again. This 1911's finish is the very nice duty finish from Dan Wesson. Very highly durable, doesn't show scratches, easy to clean off after you're done. Just wipe it down to take care of it. It's really an amazing finish. No problems at all on our previous Dan Wessons of this type. The Dan Wesson Vigil, just like the Dan Wesson Specialist, has an extended magazine release seen here. Very nice, very generously sized. I really do like the extended magazine releases. Also on the frame here, the trigger guard area has a slight undercut to allow you to get a little bit higher up on the gun. Again, that'll help... Uh, aid and recoil control of this 1911. It is just so smooth. Ah, I hit by the brass. <laughs> 100%. The Dan Wesson Vigil pistols come with these beautiful Coca Bolo Dan Wesson marked wood grips here. You've got some really good stippling on the grip there. These are made by Hogue. It says Hogue on the inside of the wood panel there. They are very beautiful. They really do help again, along with the checkering in the front strap and back strap, lock the pistol in. It feels fantastic in hand, guys. It's pretty unbelievable how nice this pistol is with these wood grips on it. Especially considering, you know, Ferdinand, you're not a huge fan of wood grips normally on 1911s, right? Yeah, these are actually really, really good. I did not think they would be as good as they are. So there's no necessity to change the grips out, guys. I think you'll find that if you buy this pistol, you really do like the wood grips that come on it. And I was surprised they were made by Hogue, but uh, they are Mark Dan Wesson and they look terrific. More action with that Dan Wesson magazine. Those were all headshots one-handed. The sight picture on this 1911 is pretty basic. You've got a serrated rear sight as seen there with a ledge on it to help rack the pistol if need be. And you've got an awesome white outline tritium insert front sight. So this is a perfect pistol for concealed carry and it's very easy to pay attention to that front sight because you have a fully blacked out rear sight. Very nice sight picture on this 1911. Back to the Elander magazine.
try a little left-handed here, so it's offhand for me. So let's talk about the trigger real quick here, guys. I was very impressed with the trigger. It, uh, let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. It's got that much take up. That's it, right there. And then about four pounds later, that's the break. And on the reset here, it immediately jumps out with a strong push. It's extremely positive. And then you're on the trigger again. Really easy to fire off that reset and get that second round downrange really fast. The overall package is much better than its $1,200 MSRP price. Very impressive pistol. All right, single-handed fire here. Let's go to my weak hand here, which is right hand. Percent. All right, guys, so we just got done shooting 250 rounds of the six hour elite performance full metal jacket ammunition. Now we're going to move on to some hollow points for the Dan Wesson Vigil. We're going to shoot seven six hour V crown 230 grain. And we're going to shoot six gold dots and six federal HSTs through it just to see how the vigil runs. Some, you know, high quality carry ammunition. All right, guys, so we're testing the carry rounds in the uh, carry magazine, so the officer size mags that come with this pistol. Let's shoot the uh, sphere gold dots first. All right, first rounds as far as carry ammo through this guy. That first round definitely caught me off guard a little. All right, federal HSTs. Hundred percent. All right, guys. Now the Sig Sauer V Crown, two hundred thirty grain, forty-five ACP. More self-defense rounds. It's a keeper, man. Another excellent 1911 by Dan Wesson, guys. You know, what can I say? There's nothing not to like about it. It's the lighter aluminum frame, but it really doesn't beat you up. We just fired 200, 210 rounds of 45 ACP through this pistol, and it, my hands are fine. So a great choice for personal carry if you're into the 1911 platform. The Dan Wesson Vigil CCO comes with these Dan Wesson magazines, they are officer size and they hold seven rounds. Again, absolutely no problems at all with these Dan Wesson magazines. We've tested these in several Dan Wesson 1911s and they run perfectly. Last thing to cover guys is the MSRP on this Vigil CCO is 1298. And that's a very good price for this kind of 1911. Yeah, see what you guys can get it for in your areas because I'm sure the dealers will sell them for less than that. How much less? That's going to depend on where you live and what your dealer will sell it to you for. But it does seem to be a tremendous value at this price. Much less than all the other Dan Wessons that are out there for sale. So if you want to get into one and try one out, this may be the one for you. It also comes in commander size. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review video. If you're interested in this Dan Wesson or anything else available from Dan Wesson, make sure you go to their website and check out their products. As always, everyone, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA, and support us on Patreon for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.